Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video I am going to show you how you can detect planes in ARKit. So let's get started. First of all, let's open up our Xcode project and let us just create a new branch from our current branch and uh, let's just select this and I will name this. And now once we are inside our plane detection branch, let us just go to our game view controller and first of all, let us enable plane detection because it is as simple as that. And let's scroll down till the view did load. And before we run our configuration, let us set on the configuration. So configuration and here you can access the plane detection. And let's just add a dot here and see the options. As you can see, only horizontal plane detection is uh, available in our configuration. No uh, vertical just yet. Maybe Apple will add vertical plane detection uh, in future updates. So for now, let us just enable the plane detection on the horizontal. Now, one last thing is that we should know when the plane detection takes uh, place. So for that, let's just scroll up and after our UI view controller declaration for the parent, we will just type in here ARSCN view delegate. And now let's just uh, right click on this and let's jump to definition and then let's see our uh, delegate methods. And if we just scroll down, uh, well, auto completion is, um, when this rendering out of this page uh, kind of looks awful, but here we have our renderer and the did add uh, node and for an anchor. And this is when uh, the device automatically adds an anchor and this is when we tried, uh, we know that there is a plane detected by our phone. And we will talk about the will update, uh, well, the did update, because the will update is before the update takes place. So did update is just fine for us and for the did remove. Well, first of all, let's go to the, uh, back to our game view controller and uh, of course, uh, before we add our delegate methods, let's set our delegate on self. So ar view dot delegate equals self. So these delegate methods will be triggered on our game view controller. Let's just scroll all the way down and just uh, type in renderer and here you have all of your renderer functions. What we want to use now is a did add. And the interesting part here is this anchor, an AR anchor. Let's just go ahead and jump to definition again. Uh, I, I really encourage you to use the, uh, the automatic documentation that is inside the frameworks so you may understand not just what I teach you, what you are interested about. Maybe you don't want to talk about the AR anchor, you want to talk about and learn about something else. So go ahead and right click on it and jump to the definition and most probably you will have an uh, explanation for your uh, method or anything else you want to search. So this is an object representing a physical location and orientation in a 3D space. So we are getting the location and the orientation in 3D space. The location is X, Y, Z, and the orientation is how the camera is facing towards that uh, location. So there is a little bit of tricky part understanding lo location and orientation, but maybe we'll go through this in a later lesson. But uh, do know that location and orientation, of course, is not the same. Now, uh, this anchor, we want to uh, set an ARSCN uh, anchor. So we want to uh, guardlet, uh, use, it, use a guardlet statement to unwrap it. And of course, to make it an ARSCN anchor. So let's type in a guard.
and of course there is an else statement if we don't get one then we simply return now let us just simply print out and here we have alignment center and extent now the extent is like in a sprite kit for the size so let's because extent has x y and z values and now we will print out whenever a new uh, plane anchor has been found so let us just select our device now and build and run and see what happens inside our log i will just simply make this console larger so you may see okay let's wait for it here we go and let's just pivot to the floor now and as you can see a new plane anchor was found at extent and this is of course our uh, one by one meter or well, more than one meter and approximately 37 centimeters wide plate let me just point to the other direction here and we have found a new plane anchor okay so and you may wonder that there when i am just moving and tilting uh, this phone around more yellow dots occur now that is when the plane anchor is updated we don't see it now but if we just add a new method here the delegate method and that is renderer and did update the node for our anchor and i will just simply copy and paste the previous two lines so uh, now new plane anchor isn't what we want to print out uh, we want to uh, type in here plane anchor updated width and i will just change this to width okay now let us just build and run and as i will move around uh, through scanning the floor the new anchors will be found and uh, the extent will of course change so first of all let's wait for it and let me just use my left hand here and try okay here we have our new plane anchor it was found and as you can see the plane anchor was updated and i will just move around okay and you can see it is constantly updated and now let us just find a new plane here Hey, there it is and it is constantly updating as I scan the floor good stuff now uh, sometimes uh, the similar well the program finds a new planes for the same uh, floor extent well that is automatically corrected once in a while by the program and that is with the remove so this is just for uh, your entertainment fun well when it is removed you can just log that out so let us just copy and paste this and plane anchor removed with extent well the extent isn't uh, uh, important for now but there you have it uh, you can add a notification or well maybe you want to do something when that obsolete anchor is removed from our scene now that is all you have to know to uh, add anchors and detect planes uh, on your AR kit again uh, next up is to add well an SEM plane that will be visible to our site now we will not just see those uh, yellow dots we will add a plane so we can well maybe let's add a dirt or ground or something like that to our AR uh, plane anchor but that is a, a task for our next video 
and I will see you in the next video. Of course, if you did like this one, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and of course share it with your friends and visit us at rebeloper.com and I will see you in the next one.